Are you thinking about getting into voiceovers, using that great voice of yours that everyone says, oh, you should, you should do it, you should become a voice actor? Well, don't, because the market is absolutely saturated. Or is it? Hello, hope you're in fine voice. It's a commonly held view that um, the voiceover market is competitive, and I would concur. It is. It's really competitive. But then, so is much of life. There aren't very many places and very many things and pursuits you can do, if they're worth doing, that aren't competitive. And of course, voiceovers are competitive. They've never not been. I've never known a period and I remember, I've been in it many years. I've never known a period where it was the golden age. There were no other competitors. I want to get into voiceovers. Oh, you'd be the only one. There's only, well, maybe one or two people doing it. Yeah, go and earn tens of thousands of pounds doing this Marks and Spencer's ad or whatever. They've always, always been competitive. When I started back in the early 80s, people said to me, oh, you're starting out, so you won't do very well because... It's too competitive. Too many people are doing it. And there were a lot of people doing it. And there were fewer jobs in those days as well. But to say it's too competitive is like saying, oh, you better not do it. Um, and you better sit back and just do something else instead. One of the mistakes that people make is they assume that there is just a single voiceover market. They say the voiceover market is saturated. But there is no single market in voiceovers. There are lots of different markets. You know, the radio commercial market is not the same as the TV commercial market. And that, in, in, in turn, say the radio market, is divided into local, regional, national, and so on. And also IVR, on-hold phone messages, are not the same as commercials, not the same as audio books, they're not the same as corporates or online training. There are so many different markets in voiceovers. Some of them overlap, some of them don't. Some might be more competitive at any one point, and others might be more competitive at another point. You just don't know. The point to remember is that voiceovers have been driven by technology. They only exist because of technology. That's why we're able to do them, because we have microphones. And these days we have the internet and we're able to send our voices off to anywhere in the world. In the olden days, it was all about getting into a studio and hopefully getting some sort of representation from an agency or at least getting out there and trying to get your voice known. Very difficult. In many ways, these days, it's easier to get into the voiceover business because you just need your microphone. They've got cheaper. We've got free software. We've got our computers and we can just record and we can send stuff off. So more people have come into the industry. I'll grant you that. They certainly have. But likewise, more clients have come into the industry. In fact, uh, the other day, one of my students was saying that she had an audio book, children's story, actually. And I said, oh, is that going on Audible, which is the usual place to, to find audio books? And she said, oh, no, no, no. It is purely for an app. You can only get it on this on this app on your, on your phone. And she said it's, it's available to download. Now, we couldn't have had that conversation. She wouldn't have got that job 15 years ago. There weren't apps. They've only just come in, well, come in sort of relatively recently because we have smartphones and because people have developed apps for them. So there are technological changes that drive voiceovers all the time and expand the market or, more accurately, expand the markets. I can honestly say there has never been a gilded age when there was no competition in voiceovers. It was very limited. Because in those days, when there were fewer voice actors around, there were fewer jobs. Now there are more jobs, more markets, and there are more voiceover artists. And to say that it's more competitive or it's competitive now is ridiculous. It's always been competitive and it always will be. The more salient point is, are you willing to compete? And I think a lot of people who say, oh, it's too competitive, I'm not getting into voiceovers, is actually cover for them saying... I daren't. I daren't compete because I'm scared of the competition. If you're scared of the competition, then certainly you shouldn't be doing voiceovers. But if you're saying, hang on a minute, my voice is as good as the next person's, I'm going to compete with them. Then that's a much more positive way of looking at it. So really examine your 
motives for saying or thinking that the voiceover market markets are competitive. Instead, kind of twist that round and say to yourself, OK, am I willing to take the plunge? Am I willing to take the risk? What's the worst that can happen? Will people laugh at me? I doubt it. Will I get the work? Maybe, maybe if you work hard, you set up recording from home and you market yourself. You've got every chance. And there are loads of different sorts of voices now. In the olden days, we just had, certainly in Britain, we had RP, where you had to speak in a certain way. These days, there's everything from our national accents, so Irish and Welsh and, and Scottish, to regional accents, Northern, Southern, Cockney, Scouse. They're all thrown into the mix. I'm not being flippant in this video. What I'm trying to do is give you some realistic perspective and say voiceovers are constantly changing. The demands, what's required and so on, constantly changes. And there is a demand from clients for new, fresh voices. They don't want the same old voices all the time. Voiceover artists drop off the radar. They retire. They Sadly, they die. And so new blood is needed all the time in voiceovers. So please don't use the competition excuse as a reason not to get into, into voiceovers. You're as good as everyone else. You should do it. And don't listen to the naysayers is what I say. All right. Thanks very much for watching today. Look after your voice and see you next time.